My first tip is to label all of your boxes and containers with painter's tape. I like this because my boxes are being reused for my grandma's recent move, so her labels aren't necessarily what I'm putting in each box. And painter's tape is nice because it's bright blue, so it's really easy to find, and it doesn't leave any residue behind, so you can use it on decorative containers and you don't have to worry about cleaning off any of that sticky stuff. And I like to label my boxes with either the contents or the room it's going to so that the people that are helping me move know where to take it once we get there. My next step is to use your clothes and towels and any linens you have as packing materials. So here I'm just putting some art with glass in it with some clothing so that it's nice and protected and I'm not wasting any money on that packing, padding stuff or bubble wrap. I also really like to fold my boxes closed instead of taping them. So I do this by just going around in a circle and then I pop out the last corner. And this makes it super easy to pull them back open when you need to get back into them. And you're not wasting so much money or plastic on tape. My next tip is to keep your jewelry in a hard container like a mason jar or some kind of Tupperware so it can't get crushed or broken in travel. But if you are worried about it tangling, do use separate containers. I also really like packing into furniture, so anything with drawers or cabinets, fill those up with items. This helps you decrease the volume overall, so if you have a truck with limited space, definitely pack into your furniture so that you're not using as many boxes. But this will, of course, make your furniture heavier, so you might have to take the drawers out when you're actually moving things in and out of the buildings. I really like this tip because I think clothing takes up a lot of space and hangers are just a very awkward item to pack. So if you take a trash bag and poke a hole in the top, you can put a bunch of your hanging clothes in it and then tie up the bottom to protect them. And it saves you a ton of time packing. I would recommend putting more items in each bag, but this was just a demonstration for you guys. And then my last tip I think is the most important and that is to pack a bag for a few days that has all of your hygiene essentials and a couple outfits. Unpacking may take longer than you expect, and so it's always nice to have everything that you need right there at your fingertips. 